This time of year really looks ugly. Piles of dirty, melting snow revealing garbage, pollution, and even some allergies. The snowpack looks so dirty in spring because it's been accumulating dirt all winter. But that dirt gets buried under layers of fresh white snow in the middle of the winter. But now that it's melting, the ice is melting out of the snowpack and is leaving the dirt. And we get layers of this stuff exposed. It looks pretty awful this time of year. And not only are piles of snow like this an eyesore, but they may also be filled with allergies like snow mold and even some chemicals that can turn into vapors. It's always interesting to watch a dog when the snow's melting. It's just a, a chemical soup coming out of the snowpack in the air and the dog's nose is very sensitive. So they're, they're uh, picking up on all the things that have been dropped into that snow over the winter and coming out as, as vapor. And it's not just the dogs that are sensitive to the snow. Our rivers, lakes, and oceans accept snow melt every year. And it's definitely not the cleanest deposit. The chemicals in the snowpack that have built up over the winter from air pollution and from organic deposition, uh, those chemicals are excluded from the ice grains and they, they form a liquid layer in the snowpack that flushes out in the snowpack uh, through what we call flow fingers. It's actually a concentrated flow pathways and so it can hit the base of the snow very quickly and then form runoff. And uh, when it runs off into some of our lakes in northern Canada, the acid load in this uh, runoff can be very, very high. And so the first 10% of that meltwater can carry 90% of the chemical load right into our lakes and rivers. And we see it happening right here. This dirty pile of snow is melting into this river, which then flows into Lake Ontario. And being so close to a parking lot, well, it's likely taking a lot of salt with it. While all of this seems a little filthy, experts do have confidence that a cleaner snowpack is possible, which would be healthier for any Canadian. John highlighted things like cleaner energy in cars, using eco-friendly pesticides, and monitoring the use of salt. Spring is when it moves. So that's when it's flushing into our waterways, into our groundwater, uh, into our lakes. So uh, this, uh, this is time to be particularly vigilant.